Hello, folks, and welcome once again to Focus on East Alabama. It's our pleasure to have April Spear, who is the, uh, your title is actually Executive Director, right? Yes. Of the Children and Family Connection here in Phoenix City, another one of our social agencies. And uh, we wanted to get April in and talk with her, uh, particularly this time of the year, because, uh, because of it being right around the holiday, the biggest holiday of the year, Christmas, of course. And, and I'm quite sure that she could use some assistance as far as uh, uh, financing and uh, uh, helping out some of the folks who uh, come to the agency for some help. So, April, once again, let me shake your hand and thank you for being on program with us. We appreciate you taking, you taking time out of your busy schedule. I guess probably, April, to start things off, I need to just ask you, first of all, what, what is your single biggest need here at Christmas time? Uh, well, actually, um, it's for the whole winter season is that, you know, we have multiple people calling and uh, coming in needing blankets and coats um, because, you know, they just don't have sufficient ways. Either their home is not, you know, heated ad adequately or, uh, or, you know, they don't have, you know, the money to pay, you know, uh, their heating bill. And so, you know, they are trying to, you know, keep warm as best that they can. So. Okay. All right. Well, I have to ask you, too. Now, you have some avenues of, of support. Let's talk a little bit about some of the contributors as, as far as the agency is concerned. I know number one, you're a 501k mm -hmm. uh, organization, so therefore any contribution, either monetary or, or uh, in kind, mm -hmm. uh, is deductible when That's we right. get ready to do our taxes, which coming up <laughs> very shortly, right? <laughs> right around the corner from us here. So, so tell us a little bit about, uh, about folks that support your agency. Okay. You know, well, we accept uh, donations, you know, from uh, groups, organizations, um, and even individuals. Um, you know, and as uh, Baxley said, everything is tax deductible. So if you bring it in, you will get a receipt um, for what you do bring in, whether it be clothing, blankets, shoes, um, food. Um, you know, so anything you bring in, um, you know, would be very much appreciated. And once again, you know, it will benefit you in the fact that it is tax deductible. And if it's things that maybe you, you know, looking to clean out your closet or things maybe you have laying around that you're just not going to use anymore, you know, there probably is somebody out there who can use them or would like to use them. Okay. Now, if folks have things like this, and let's say I load up the back of my truck and I bring it down there mm -hmm. to you, you have a place that uh, you can drop all these things off? Yes, yes. Yeah, we accept don donations during our uh, normal hours of business um, from uh, 9 a.m. to uh, 5.30 p.m. on Monday through Thursday. So you can bring it in any time uh, during those hours. Um, and then uh, our office, you know, we have a clothing bank in the upstairs part of our office building. And that's where we store the clothes, the blankets, the shoes, um, and anything like that that you would bring in. Um, and our uh, clients, they can come in, you know, and, uh, and look to see, you know, what we have that might best fit their needs. Okay. Now, we, what is the physical address of the building there? Okay. It's at 910 13th Street. Um, so it's, uh, you know, right there on 13th Street, uh, right next door to CB&T Bank. Okay. As a matter of fact, most folks in this area recognize that building as being the former That's location right. of yes. CB&T of Russell mm -hmm. County, yes. uh, the former bank building. Now, how about the building back to the rear that was part of the part of the bank? Is that part of your agency now, or is some? I saw someone going in and out the other day like they were repairing or something. Yeah, no, it's been rented out to another um, organization. Uh, I think it's called AGI Enterprises, but uh, they don't have any any affiliation. No affiliation with you. So, okay, how about household goods uh, in the way of? Uh, furniture items or anything of this nature. Do you have needs for these kind of things? At, at times we do. We really don't have anywhere to store um, things like that. So if you do have something like that, what we would try to do is uh, you would need you to contact us ahead of time and say, you know, look, I have a, a couch or a chair or a bed. Um, and if we have a client that we are currently working with that may have that need, you know, then we would have you to either drop that off to us or, um, you know, so we could have the client come and pick it up or that we could find some way to get that done. Oh, okay. All right. Now, uh, I have to ask you too, April. Do you do you need some volunteer help from time to time from the from the folks out there that might be watching this program, maybe uh, that have a truck or something, and and they have two or three hours a day that they might spend helping you out? 
do you look for folks like this? Yes, you know, at, at different times, you know, we have different needs. Um, you know, we don't have the need like that every single day, uh, but sometimes, you know, we don't know uh, when that need may arise. You know, somebody may say, okay, well, um, you know, we've done a canned food drive for you, you know, and we need you to come and pick that up, you know, and, uh, you know, we have a very small staff, so, um, you know, any, if there's someone we could call on and say, hey, do you have a truck and can you, you know, meet us down at uh, this school or this agency or this business to help us pick up these canned goods that they've collected for us. Right. Um, you know, and also, um, you know, our clothing bank. You know, we have one person that uh, manages the clothing bank. And at times, you know, uh, if we have a large amount of donations, she would need help, you know, folding the clothes, hanging them up, you know, and sorting them and things like so that. So all they need to do is just call you and say, hey, I'd like to come in and lend a hand. And, That's right. And and uh, you'll let them know a good time for them to come in, That's right? right. You know, probably the uh, best thing to do would be put you on our volunteer list um, and so that when we have that need, you know, we could give you a call and see if you're available, you know, to assist us. With right. That. Now, I know that you have a board, mm -hmm. right, that uh, uh, actually is responsible for the over overall operation there. Yes. Do you want to name some of those folks that are serving on your board? Yes. Well, um, our current president, actually, uh, just until the end of the year, is um, um, Mr. Lamar Powers, and he'll be stepping down as the president of our board um, um, at the end of the year. Um, and uh, we have uh, Father Tom Weiss, um, uh, Dr. Cordia Moffitt, uh, Mr. Mike uh, Ingersoll, and uh, Dorothy Giles. Okay. They're on the executive board. Okay, all on the executive board. Now, uh, I I'm not sure whether we have given the phone number there or not, but let's, if we did, let's do it again, okay? Okay. Okay. It's 334-448-1010, uh, and that's our, our main line, um, you know, and uh, that's the number that you would call whether you had a donation, whether you needed some assistance, or, or if you just had some questions about our, our agency, you know, give us a call, and, um, you know, if the person that uh, answers the phone is not the one you need to talk to, uh, she'll direct you to the person that you do need to talk to about okay. whatever it is uh, that you have a question about. All right. Okay, and of course, uh, you said a moment ago, particularly this time of the year, and of course, we're experiencing some cold, nothing like they're experiencing to the north of us, right. but uh, we're going to be having some below freezing temperatures in the next uh, couple of three days here. Uh, are, you, are you in immediate need for, for blankets or uh, bedspreads or sheets or pillowcases or pillows or... Uh, bedding of yes, any yes. Kind anything now? that can keep you know uh, a person warm you know would be a, of great use um, because like I said you know when the temperature dips you know we have people calling and coming in you know and asking uh, for these items mm -hmm. you know and sometimes you know we have a large volume coming in and you know it the, the uh, supply that we have you know it gets depleted right. um, so you know even if it's not cold weather you know, of course it is right now but maybe th this summer you decide okay well I need to clean out my closet you know go ahead and bring those donations of blankets in, you know, because it you know, will be getting cold again, you know, and sometimes the cold weather sneaks up on us and, um, you know, all of a sudden, you know, it's here. And so, you know, we have those people that do come in, you know, needing those things. Um, and also space heaters. If you have, uh, you know, a space heater maybe that you don't use or... Um um, We're speaking you know, of the little electric space heaters yes, that they mm -hmm. can use to supplement their yes, heat. Yes. Okay. Um, you know, we have people, uh, you know, that, that need those and depend on those, um, you know, to, you know, warm um, their home. So if you have one of those that you don't use um, or if you, um, you know, come across a new one that you would like to donate, you know, we'd be glad to take that and, you know, distribute it to the people who do need it. Right. Now, I know that uh, our community, just like all communities, has a community within the community of homeless individuals. Now, does your agency serve some of these individuals, some of the homeless? Yeah. Yes, we do. Um, you know, if they, they come in and they, they ask for food, um, they may ask for, for blankets. You know, we've had a number that come in and ask for blankets, um, clothes, coats. Um, you know, so uh, basically, you know, if they come in and ask for assistance, you know, regardless of whether they're, they're homeless, you know, or whether they do actually have a physical address, you know, we do provide assistance to them. Okay. How about at this time of the year, children's toys? gently used toys, things that are still good that, that small children might be able to enjoy. Are you in need of things like this now? Um, not as much as we have been in years past um, because we have been able to uh, make a partnership um, this year. Um, we have uh, seven families that we're uh, providing Christmas assistance to, and we have partnered with Team Realtor uh, from the Phoenix City Board of Realtors, um, and they are helping us provide Christmas uh, for these families. So that's a blessing this year. Uh, so. And I think we need to give a big shout out to Chris Lemons, yes, we do. who is the head of the uh, uh, Board of Realtors there. 
I know they're they're constantly looking for things to do for other folks and team realtors uh, realtors of course part of that organization yes. and so we need to say a big thank you to Chris I'll allow you the opportunity to do that <laughs> yes uh, I want to say thank you to Chris Lemons and uh, all the members of team realtor you know for helping us uh, with our Thanksgiving food drive you know as well as the families uh, that we have that you are assisting for Christmas um, I know it means so much to those families you know and thank you so much we appreciate it do you have plans in place for a Thanksgiving dinner or anything of like like that for uh, individuals no, we didn't do okay. We didn't do that, but uh, we at each year at Chris at uh, Thanksgiving we select um, usually between ten and twelve families that we've provided assistance to during the year, and we uh, provide a Thanksgiving basket to them. It has the turkey, it has um, things to make dressing in it, it has um, you know uh, flour, sugar, uh, cake mixes, ca all different kinds of canned goods everything that they would need, you know, to provide a Thanksgiving dinner uh, for their family. And, uh, you know, the way that we fill those baskets is with donations. Um, uh, Oliver Elementary School um, was very instrumental in helping us fill those baskets um, this year. Um, they sponsored a wonderful can drive. That's Oliver down at Seal, right? Yes, yes. Part of the Russell mm -hmm. County School System, right? Yes, yeah. yes. Mm -hmm. um, they, they gave us uh, several truckloads worth of canned goods this year. So that was able to, you know, fill our Thanksgiving baskets, and we really appreciate that. Right. And we had a number of uh, businesses um, in the area that uh, donated gift cards um, that would allow us to go, you know, and purchase the turkeys um, and other things that weren't, you know, uh, canned goods or staples for those baskets. Right. So. April, we've got just a couple of moments uh, left, but let's let folks who might be watching us today who need some assistance Let's let them know the procedure that they need to go through if they need some help okay. here at, at Christmas time, okay? Okay. Okay, well, basically, all you would have to do um, is you can either call the agency, um, you know, and, uh, you know, to let us know what your needs are, um, and we can tell you, you know, uh, you know, whether we can best fill your needs or maybe there's another agency in the community that would, uh, you know, be better suited uh, to fill your needs because at, at sometimes, you know, we do have to refer out. Um, you know, even though we are a family resource center, um, we can't provide, um, you know, everything. So we uh, partner with other communities, I mean, other agencies in the community, you know, to provide those services. Um, and then you can also just walk into our agency, you know, during our normal business hours, uh, Monday through Thursday uh, from 9 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. Um, you know, we'll be glad uh, to assist you. Uh, so you don't need an appointment um, for that. Just walk in. Okay. Well, we're approaching break time, so we're going to break away for just a, a couple of commercials. And then we'll come back and continue our conversation with April Spear of the Children and Family Connection here in Phoenix City in just a moment. They'll test you. Try to break your will. But however loud the loudness gets, however many cheese puffs may fly, you're the driver, the one in control. Stand firm. Just wait. And move only when you hear the click that says they're buckled in for the drive. Never give up till they buckle up. The war had been gone for two years, and I got the calling. I got the calling to to join the service and support the boys over there. I never thought that I would have PTSD. I thought that I had enough coping skills. I don't think anybody who goes into combat could ever honestly say that they're not different when they come home. My life's changed. What you take as a simple thing is not so simple for me anymore. It's like a pressure cooker. You know, you want somebody desperately to, to trip that valve. You know, you want to, like, you know, lose all of that anger and angst. I would say to those people that are out there, uh, get educated. Don't brush this aside and don't count us out. Hear more of their stories at usoinvisiblewounds.org. The wounds are invisible. The stories are real. Welcome back to Focus on East Alabama. Again, our guest is April Spear, who is the Director of Children and Family Services here in Phoenix City, a social uh, service agency. And we've been talking with April about procedures that folks need to follow to either contribute or maybe uh, if they need assistance uh, through this agency. Uh, now we want to talk a little bit about some of the successful 
uh, operations of it. Now, I know, April, you've been the director how long now? Uh, about a year and a half now. A year and a half. That's what I was thinking. And we've, we've had you on a couple of times in that, in that time. Hopefully it's done you some good. It, it has. Okay. Tell us, tell us a little bit about some of the success stories that you can share with our viewers so that they'll be more aware of what you really do. Okay. Okay. Um, you know, well, you know, we, we serve a lot of people, you know, um, each year. Um, and, you know, I'm not going to you know, divulge any names because of our, our, our policy with confidentiality. You know, but, you know, sometimes we have families that come in, you know, and they have a story, you know, that's just really um, powerful. Um, you know, in some of the stories, uh, you know, there's uh, people that overcome, you know, great obstacles um, in their lives. And uh, currently, you know, we're working with uh, some families who have uh, members of their family who have some type of uh, disability. You know, and they're just really in need of assistance because, you know, they are the primary caregivers, you know, and because they're the primary caregiver of their family, um, you know, they're not able to, to work the number of hours that they need to work, um, you know, because of the care that they provide. Um, you know, and so, you know, whatever we can do to assist them, whether it's, you know, giving them, uh, you know, food, you know, to help them uh, make ends meet or giving them referrals to help pay their, their power bill or other utility bills they might have. Um, you know, providing them with, you know, clothes from the clothing bank, just whatever that need may be, um, you know, and also other resources, you know, in the community, you know, trying to help them, you know, meet those gaps, you know, and then, uh, you know, especially here at, at Christmas time, um, you know, one of the families that we've selected, you know, is, is dealing with that, you know, and just the, the gratefulness, you know, that's been expressed because we've been able to, you know, uh, help uh, them with Christmas, um, you know, because sometimes they don't know what they're, they're going to do, you know. Um, and so having that uh, support, you know, from an outside agency, you know, to provide that for them, you know, is, is, is wonderful and a blessing to them. Okay. Now, just for the public interest, uh, what would you say is the number of families that you have assisted in the last 12 months? Uh, that, that way our folks will know just how much uh, effect you have as far as our community is concerned. Okay, okay. Um, well, you know, our agency, we, we provide, you know, an, a number of different services. Um, and so, you know, it may be that, you know, a person comes in, uh, you know, with one need, you know, and we end up filling a whole host of needs. Um, you know, and so we would count that need, you know, among every program. Um, you know, so, but, but we have served probably uh, close to 500 families, um, you know, during this uh, past, you know, fiscal year. Right. Um, so, you know, it, it, it's, it's quite an impact, you know, that, that our, our services make. Okay. Now, I know that uh, we talked earlier about uh, Chris Lammons and the Board of Phoenix City Board of Realtors and the, and the good works that they have done for you. I know you probably have some other uh, uh, businesses out there, too, who who have assisted you and, and you might want to say your thank yous to them too. Okay, okay. Uh, yes, um, you know, like, like I mentioned, you know, uh, Oliver Elementary School, um, you know, and also uh, Mount Olive Elementary School, you know, they, they were instrumental um, in also providing some food uh, for our food drive. Um, and, you know, and then various other businesses um, you know, that uh, either gave gift cards or, um, you know, the Fresh Market over in Columbus, they provided, you know, a gift card, and they also provided uh, the baked goods uh, for our Thanksgiving baskets. You know, uh, Publix gave us a gift card. Uh, Piggly Wiggly, you know, gave us a gift card. Um, I don't want to leave anybody out, you know, but, <laughs> but you know, anybody, in, uh, and Winn-Dixie, they gave us a gift card. You know, so anybody that, uh, you know, provided any type of support, you know, uh, for that, you know, we, we appreciate it, you know, and I know the families that received the uh, Thanksgiving baskets appreciated that as well. Suppose there, there's a businessman out there that has, has not supported you in the past and would like to do so. Uh, I'll allow you the invitation, to, I mean, the opportunity to invite that person to give you a call, okay. let you know what they would like to do. Okay. Um, yes. You know, if, if there's anyone out there, you know, that, that's watching and listening, you know, if you have a desire, you know, to help people, you know, to help families, um, you know, uh, give us a call. Um, you know, you can either contact me personally or you can contact one of the members of my staff. Um, you can either make, you know, a cash or monetary uh, donation or you can donate, um, you know, either clothes, food. Um, you know, we even have a need for diapers. You know, we have, uh, you know, uh, you know, lots of uh, mothers with small children that come in, you know, and, uh, you know, the, the diapers are not covered with their wick. Um, and so, you know, they have a hard time, you know, buying diapers because they're very expensive. Um, so just anything that you can think of, you know, that a family in need might, you know, uh, need, 
Um, you can either donate that or, you know, like I said, you can make a monetary, um, you know, donation to the agency. Okay. Do you normally do a toy drive at, at Christmas time? Uh, well, we haven't done one recently. Uh, usually what we uh, have done for the past uh, several years is, you know, we select families that we've been working with uh, throughout the year. Right. And then we uh, get sponsors, um, you know, in the community, either businesses or individuals, um, to agree to uh, buy you know, gifts for the children um, in that family. Um, and this is the first year that we've actually had one uh, business or one entity that's sponsoring all of our families. Oh, okay. um, you know, typically, okay. you know, in the past, it's been, uh, right. you know, a number of different um, individuals and businesses. How about the area churches? Do they, do they chip in and, and work with you? Yes, at times, you know, we've had uh, several churches um, that have uh, donated, uh, you know, food, uh, clothes. Um, so, you know, sometimes, you know, they, they will call, you know, and say, you know, well, we've, we've, we've got this, you know, or we had this extra, you know, from a, a, a food drive that we had, or if they have a food closet or something like that, um, and they may say, you know, well, we, we've got surplus, you know, can you use it, you know, mm -hmm. and of course we say, yes, please, you know, <laughs> uh, bring it on. So. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, uh, while, while we're talking about this, I uh, need to ask too, do you, do you receive any funding from uh, the government? Uh, yes, um, our uh, agency is uh, funded primarily by uh, state uh, DHR, so Alabama Department of Human Resources um, is the major funding source uh, mm -hmm. for our organization. Um, you know, we're also a member of the Alabama Network of uh, Family Resource Centers, um, and they provide just a very small, uh, you know, amount of uh, financial support for us. And then the rest of our financial support, you know, is, uh, you know, from people like you, you know, who want to give some type of donation, uh, you know, to our agency, you know, to help, you know, support the programs and services that we do offer. Now, if they can d donate either by calling you and saying, hey, I'm going to send you a check. That's or right. Uh, how about online? Do you do online contributions? Uh, yes, if you will visit our website, there's a link on there to, uh, to, to a, um, it's called Razoo, um, and you can make an online uh, donation um, that way if you want to use your, your credit card. Um, you know, so, you know, it's, it's completely up, you know, to you how you want to do that. Um, and our website is uh, childrenandfamilyconnection.com. Okay, all right. We'll be sure that we put that on the screen okay. along with the address and the, the telephone number and all that other information. Okay. Now, share with us one more success story, one more story that uh, may touch someone out there that's watching us now. Okay, okay. Um, you know, well, we have a number of uh, uh, clients that come in, um, you know, and uh, they, they are facing some type of disability in their own life. And, and, you know, they are trying to apply for disability benefits, um, you know, and so, you know, we can assist them, you know, in c making the resources that they need, um, you know, to do that. Um, you know, and a lot of times, you know, they're, they're, they're discouraged, they get down because they're, they're, they're being denied, you know, their benefits. Um, and it's, you know, it's, it's hard on them because of the nature of their disability, you know, they're not able, you know, uh, to do what they need to do for their family. Um, you know, and so the, you know, the emotional support that we can provide um, to them, you know, is, um, you know, sometimes just as great as the resources that we connect them with in the community, you know, that help them um, to be able to get their, their disability. Well, I know at one time y'all were offering actually some counseling uh, classes, uh, for expectant moms and, and this kind of, are you still doing these things? Um, we're not uh, currently doing that uh, right now. At one time there was a need uh, for that uh, down at uh, the, uh, the county high school, Russell County High School. Um, but um, the, the last time uh, that I did that, they had been able to purchase their own uh, dolls to be able to implement the program um, in their own classes. Um, so, you know, the need for us to do that um, is not there anymore. They're actually doing it in-house now. Okay. Do you offer any kind of job training? Uh, are you affiliated with any businesses in the area that uh, take some of your applicants and try to put them to work for them? Uh, yes, we have a, a good partnership uh, w with Goodwill. Um, so when we have anyone that comes in and, you know, and needs assistance, um, either with job training or you know, job applications, uh, we refer them you know, to Goodwill and Goodwill can you know, connect them uh, with what they need to do in order to apply for the job that they're looking for. Okay. Well, we're about to run out of time, so I wanted to afford you again the opportunity to make that appeal, particularly at this time of the year, for, for anyone that would like to assist you in your programs there with a monetary contribution or perhaps they've got some clothing and so forth that they could contribute. 
I want to allow you the opportunity to, again, ask folks to come help you. Okay. Um, yes, you know, as Baxley said, you know, this time of year especially, you know, we have families that are in need of, clo of clothing, they're in need of coats, you know, they're in need of blankets, um, you know, and also they're in need of food. Um, so if you have any of those items that you would be willing to donate or you're a member of a organization or a group that maybe is looking for, you know, someone to help um, for this holiday season, you know, please consider uh, Children and Family Connection. Um, you know, you can uh, drop it off, um, you know, Monday through Thursday, uh, 9 to 5.30 p.m. Um, and once again, you know, your uh, donation is completely you know, tax deductible. Okay. So. Now, we need to remind folks, too, that when we talk about clothing, we're talking about clothing that's still in good condition. Yes. We're not talking yes. about rags. No, right? no, no, no. We're not, we're not talking about, you know, things that, you know, you wouldn't wear yourself. You right. know, think about something that you would wear yourself. It doesn't have to be brand new, but it does need to be in good condition. And we take men's clothes. We take women's clothes. We take children's clothes. Okay. Um, so we have the need for, you know, and I, and all I, types As of I told you before I went on camera today, I was, I was looking through my closet, closet uh, the other day and looking at some things that I need to get rid of. And found that I have three identical uh, red shirts. I have no need for three red shirts, right? And I'm sure there's a lot of other folks out there who are probably in the same boat that I am that need to clean out some closets. We right. need to get mm -hmm. rid of some stuff. And you need to take it to the Children and Family Connection, right? That's right. You know, because we have somebody, you know, that will come in and that can use those things that maybe you don't wear anymore or that maybe don't fit you anymore. Um, so, you know, uh, please consider, you know, bringing those items, you know, to us. And you can use, uh, in the way of uh, bedding, uh, you can use... Uh, sheets or mm -hmm. pillowcases or mm -hmm. pillows themselves mm -hmm. as long as they're still in good condition yes. quilts blankets, blankets the whole mm -hmm. ball of wax right yes yes whatever you have that you feel you know may provide warmth uh, to another individual you know please uh, you know come and donate it to our agency so you're telling me i need to go home and start cleaning out my closets right yes that's what okay. I'm saying. <laughs> you and everyone watching <laughs> right okay again we want to say a special thank you to you april for coming in and being with us well, thank you for and, and again, let me wish you a, a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year and the, the best of success in the upcoming year. Thank you so much. Merry uh, Christmas to give, you, too. Give you the opportunity for the last message. Okay. Just want to say, uh, you know, Merry Christmas to everyone out there. Um, and, uh, you know, if you're wanting to give this uh, Christmas season, you know, please consider, um, you know, donating to our agency as, you know, there's a number of things that our clients um, can use and would appreciate. Okay, thanks again for being with us for Focus on East Alabama today. We trust you've enjoyed this program as much as we have enjoyed bringing it to you. Need to remind you that it is brought to you by CTV Beam, your hometown connection for cable television, high-speed internet, and home telephone. See you for our next program.